tough stretch. Yeah. You, know, you're, you know, you're going on the road. Um, how do you feel like confidence is? How do you feel like you match up with these teams? What's what's the mood? Yeah, well, we took a, uh, a two-day rest, which was really important, I thought, mentally and emotionally and physically. Uh, had a great practice today, one of our best practices. I think our kids are excited. It's not going to be easy. I mean, they're just not ranked, but they're still a really good team. And, you know, um, they lost to Stanford in overtime. They lost uh, a double and a triple overtime game this last week. You know, they're they're a good team, and they're playing as hungry as we are. So they're they're also playing at home. So we've got our work cut out for us. But it's an important game, um, important game for us. What do you think the team's headspace is right now after coming off what has been obviously a tough stretch? Yeah, uh, considering, yeah, I think pretty good. I mean, you know, I, I don't know what to judge it off. I've never been in a situation like this. I Most of them haven't either. So, um, you know, but I, I think the attitudes have been great. You know, <clears throat> it's not the losing necessarily that has been difficult. It's kind of the way we've lost. We haven't really been competitive in a lot of those games. And, um, but, you know, considering, I think, their attitudes are good, and I think they're upbeat, and I think we're ready to get a to get a win. You had a stretch last year of, of some losses, and then got some wins late in the year. Can you take any lessons from that experience? Kind of what what worked then? Obviously, the roster looks a lot different, but but things that were keys to that last year that maybe you know can help guide you through these next few weeks. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, yeah, we did finish the season strong last year, and uh, yeah, we need that same kind of magic. I think part of that was Tahina got really hot and and uh, and everybody kind of followed suit. Uh, we need that same kind of thing to happen. I don't know who that player will be for us. Uh, we've got certainly some good candidates, but uh, yeah, we, we've just got to see something positive happen. I, I truly do believe that we've got it within us to, uh, you know, to play better basketball, to close out some games. It's just been a while. So that, you know, we've, we've, got our work cut out for us in that in that regard but uh i i, I got a feeling someone's gonna really step up you brought up the all the overtime games they played last week i think they most their most recent win was actually over usc a couple weeks ago so clearly you know they can compete with the best what is going to be difficult about about washington well, number one, they have everybody back. So it's a team that has played a lot of games together. You know, they're like us, though. They're struggling. I mean, you know, it's a big game for them, too. I mean, if we win this game, we pass both Arizona State and Washington in the standings. So, you know, they're they're playing for something. But they there's continuity there, uh, you know, especially at the guard line. Uh, Schwartz is a heck of a player. You know, they, they, they probably do the best job in the conference of just cutting. You know, they're great cutters. Uh, they run that uh, Princeton stuff, the Chin stuff, really, really well. Um, you know, and if you're, and it's different. You know, not a lot of people run what they do the the, the way they they play, and so you have to prepare for it. And we did today. Uh, just worked on cutting and keeping people in front of you, and um, you know, they're they're really good at it. But yeah, Ladine playing well. They've got a bunch of different players that on any given night can have big games. You know, Ladine, uh, Schwartz. Um, um, come on. See, I, I know their numbers. <laughs> uh, Hannah Steins, uh, you know, Chloe Briggs. Uh, the fr they got a really, really nice freshman out of Alaska that, that I like. And then you have, you know, the inside player, Delea Daniels, has been there for a while. And, uh, and she's a really good player, too, uh, Jada Noble. So I think I got most of them. Yeah. It's kind of hard when you put on the spot like that. You, you know, you've got to learn two rosters every every week. But, uh, you know, and I think Tina does a really good job with them. It, it, you know, they, they're getting better and better. I know they've struggled a little bit in league, but they played everybody close. And then, like you said, they have a good win over USC. Uh, who else did they beat? I think they beat Arizona at home. I think they've only won one home game. I think it was Arizona. Uh, and then they beat uh, Washington State on the road. So, um, yeah. Is it interesting too that um, you know you're playing them for the first time so late in the year, right? It's the second last weekend of the regular season, and um, you're playing both Washington schools for the first time. Yeah, it's kind of odd, you know. But what do you expect? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> for, for just like a preparation. I, and, and you know, honestly, I, I think I think it's ridiculous that you know, and I get the balanced schedule and, you know, you've got to rotate it every whatever years. I, I just think you should play your regional rivals twice. Uh, you know, there's no, 
makes no sense that the Washingtons don't come here to play. It just makes no sense to me. Or that, let's say, UCLA, you know, the LAs don't play the Bay Area schools twice. That's just dumb, you know. And um, But, yeah, with two, week, two weeks to go in the season to play somebody for the first time is unique. We'll just put it that way. The style of offense they play, how does that match up with the way you guys have been playing defensively? Uh, you know, it, it'll pose some problems. It's different. But at the same time, nobody's really zoned them. I mean, you know, we're starting to mix it up a little bit. Last weekend, we played some man-to-man -man as well and, and just kind of junked some stuff up because uh, we felt we kind of needed to. But they haven't seen a zone. And quite frankly, the first time teams have seen our zone with that kind of length, you know, they've struggled with it a little bit. You know, the second time, I thought everybody did a little bit better outside of maybe the Beavers. But um, – you know, um, this will be a, a new for them as well. Is the zone going to be an identity <clears throat> thing throughout your tenure, or is this no. just a year? Is no. this what you have this year? No, we've we've always mixed it up. We've been yeah. like a sixty-five thirty-five man to zone. Okay. Uh, we just felt we needed to do it. We we just you know, <clears throat> so many teams play. They're really guard heavy. Yeah. That means you got somebody like Filipina out chasing guards, and she's you know just takes her away from the basket. Uh, and then, you know, we 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 tried that non-league, and we just weren't that successful. So we decided we'd um, you know pick a style defensively, go with it, get better at it. And I thought we were, and now you know teams have kind of figured it out to some degree. So we've tried to adjust, and you know. It, it hasn't worked, but the defensive side of the ball has not been our weakness. That's not been our issue this year. We just, uh, you know, like the other night against UCLA, a very good team. Again, we held them into the high 30s in field goal percentage, but when you give as many second chance, second chances, then, you know, that uh, negates the good work you did in the, in the half court. So we're just still trying to find some answers.